Hello everyone. Today let's talk about the plant paradox diet, the secret behind Kelly Clarkson dropping almost 40 pounds in 2023. Ever wondered what this diet really involves and if it's the magic bullet for quick weight loss that we've all been searching for? Well, it's time to get to the bottom of it. Join me as we explore the ins and outs of this unique plant-based diet and uncover why it seems to make losing weight a breeze. All right, let's dive into the world of the plant paradox diet, shall we? Picture this, a diet that's not just any diet, but one born from a book that's got a title long enough to be a tongue twister. The plant paradox, the hidden dangers in healthy foods that cause disease and weight gain. Authored by the one and only Stephen Gundry, this diet throws a curveball at everything we thought we knew about healthy eating. So what's the deal with it? The crux of the matter is lectins, those sneaky little proteins hiding in certain foods that, according to Dr. Gundry, are the culprits behind all sorts of nasty things like weight gain and disease, and just when you thought veggies were your best friends, right? Hold that thought because we're about to spill the beans, which, spoiler alert, might actually have lectins. Who is this Dr. Gundry, you ask? Imagine giving your parents a thesis, becoming a renowned heart surgeon and cardiologist, and then plot twist deciding that what really gets your heart pumping is nutrition. That's our guy. According to him, many of our so-called nutritious foods are not so saintly after all. They're hosting these party crashers called lectins that could be leading to leaky gut and a whole parade of autoimmune diseases. Now about these lectins that Dr. Gundry loves to hate. Let's just say they're not getting invites to his dinner parties. But don't worry, we'll get into the nitty gritty of which foods are on the no-fly list. So stick around because this is going to be more intriguing than any diet soap opera you've watched. How did Kelly Clarkson turn the scale in her favor? Enter the Plant Paradox Diet, the not-so-secret weapon she used to drop those pounds. This diet isn't just any diet. It's like the VIP club of eating habits, where proteins and healthy fats get the all-access pass, while starchy foods wait in line outside. Here's the scoop. By giving a cold shoulder to most starches, your body starts feeling full longer. It's like telling your appetite, sorry, we're closed for the day. This fullness factor makes it a cinch to eat less, helping you maintain a calorie deficit, dieting's golden ticket to weight loss. But wait, there's more. Kiss goodbye to most processed foods and those sneaky added sugars. Cutting these out is like unfriending those toxic acquaintances who bring you down. And let's not forget the advice to ease up on butter, cream, and their gang of saturated fats, not to mention the ban on processed grains and beans that are bursting with sodium. It's a cleanup operation on your diet. Why does this work? It's not just about dodging lectins like they're bad first dates. It turns out the real magic might be in ditching processed foods. With added sugar, sodium, and saturated fats playing the villains in the American diet drama, it's no wonder Kelly's weight loss story had a happy ending. The USDA even nods in agreement. Too much of these baddies is a no-go. So in the end, it's not just about lectin red flags. It's about giving processed food the boot. Okay. Let's tackle the mystery guests of the nutrition world, lectins. Imagine lectins as those party crashers in the world of foods, lurking in the shadows of raw legumes and grains, waiting for an invite to your digestive bash. Here's how they roll. Once you chow down on them, they're not just content to hang out in your stomach. Oh no, they're social butterflies with a twist. They go around binding to other molecules, especially carbohydrates, like they're trying to make the most connections at the party. But here's where the plot thickens. According to the Plant Paradox Diet, lectins have a bit of a dark side. They don't just stick to molecules, they cozy up to your cells, and not in a good way. It's like they're the guests that not only didn't bring a dish, but also decided to stir up some drama, potentially leading to illness. So in the grand buffet of nutrition, lectins are that one ingredient that might just have you second guessing whether you want to invite them to your next meal. Now let's dive into which healthy foods contain lectins. First up, we have the bean brigade, including the likes of soy and peanuts. These guys are like the main act in the lectin concert. Then sliding into the spotlight, we've got the nightshade veggies. Think tomatoes, eggplants, potatoes, and peppers. They're like the backup dancers, adding some flair to the lectin show. But wait, there's more. Eggs and milk are also on the guest list, thanks to the grains that dairy cows and commercial chickens feast on. And let's not forget about the grains themselves, with quinoa and brown rice being the VIPs in the lectin lounge. Now, Dr. Gundry, the maestro behind the Plant Paradox diet, was practically doing a victory lap in the south of France when he heard Kelly Clarkson sing the praises of his diet. 
Imagine cruising with your significant other, blasting Kelly's tunes and finding out she's a fan of your work. Talk about a fanboy moment. Dr. Gundry's admiration for Kelly doesn't stop at her music. He's ready to roll out the red carpet and be her go-to doc on her new TV show. Who knew navigating diet trends could feel like auditioning for a celebrity doctor gig? So, the Plant Paradox diet turned out to be a game changer for Kelly. But here's the million dollar question. Is it the right move for everyone? While it did wonders for Kelly, it's not a one size fits all kind of deal. What works like a charm for one person might not hit the same note for another. So before you consider breaking up with your beloved nightshades or grains, remember, the world of diets is as varied as music genres. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty of the plant paradox diet with a little pros and cons action. Think of it as the diet's report card, if you will. The pros, clean eating 101. This diet is like a detox for your food habits. Ditching processed foods for whole foods is like swapping out your old beat up car for a shiny new ride. Your body starts to thank you, feeling better, looking better, and overall just being a happier camper. Feeling full on the good stuff. Thanks to its high protein and healthy fats lineup, this diet keeps your stomach from growling between meals. It's like having a built-in appetite bouncer, keeping those hunger pangs at bay and making it easier to eat less without feeling like you're starving. Sugar and processed foods be gone. Cutting out the junk means your daily calorie count could drop faster than a hot potato, all without having to count every single calorie. The cons. Where's the proof? The research backing up this diet hasn't exactly gone viral in the scientific community. It's like hearing a rumor from a friend of a friend. It might be interesting, but you'd want more solid evidence before you believe it. The long haul dilemma. Sticking to this diet might feel like running a marathon with no end in sight. It's pretty strict, and let's be honest, variety is the spice of life. This diet might have you missing out on some of those spicy flavors. Lectin lockdown. Say goodbye to a whole squad of foods like wheat, beans, potatoes, nuts, and dairy. It's a bit like throwing the baby out with the bathwater, since lectins are in a ton of foods, making it a challenge to get all the nutrients your body craves without a cheat sheet. Possible side effects. This diet might have some, let's say, unpleasant side effects. We're talking about the kind of gastrointestinal party you definitely don't want to be invited to, vomiting, upset stomach, diarrhea, bloating, and gas. Not exactly the life of the party. So there you have it. The good, the bad, and the gassy of the plant paradox diet. It's got its upsides, like making you feel like a million bucks with all that clean eating, but it also comes with its share of challenges and tummy troubles. All right, let's dive into the wallet whacking world of the plant paradox diet and figure out what kind of dent it's gonna leave in your bank account. Spoiler alert, it's not just about swapping your regular apples for organic ones. First off, your entry ticket to this diet is buying the Plant Paradox book. Depending on whether you're an old school paperback fan or a digital bookworm, you're looking at shelling out anywhere from seven to $29. Not too shabby, but that's just the appetizer. Next up on the menu are the special ingredients. Think lectin-free flowers and alternative sweeteners. These guys are like the VIPs in the ingredient world and they're priced accordingly. If you thought your regular flour was a budget buster, wait till you meet these high rollers. Organic produce is another must have for the plant paradox aficionado. Going organic can feel a bit like choosing the deluxe car wash every time. It's nice, but your wallet might start sweating. These fruits and veggies come with a premium price tag compared to their conventionally grown cousins. And then there's the exclusive club of supplements and products designed to make your plant paradox journey complete. With names like Total Restore and Lectin Shield popping up at a cool $69 to $79 a bottle, you might start wondering if there's a secret handshake involved. It's at this point you might see red flags waving like you're at a bullfight. Buy my supplements for the full experience, says the diet guru, as he introduces his lineup of everything from Vital Reds to his latest orange concoction, each promising a daily dose of wellness and an ongoing dose of expense. So what's the bottom line? Jumping on the Plant Paradox bandwagon can definitely vary in cost based on how deep you dive into the specialty ingredients and supplements see. But here's the kicker. You can actually navigate this diet without breaking the bank. Focus on the whole foods, get creative with what you have, and remember that the best things in life or in diets don't always come with a hefty price tag. And hey, there's always the treasure trove of free resources out there to guide you without costing a dime. 
So you're wondering if you should hop on the plant paradox diet train, huh? Let's break it down, but not without a pinch of humor and a whole lot of real talk. First off, the big question, to lectin or not to lectin? The truth is the evidence for going full anti-lectin is about as sturdy as a house of cards in a breeze. Western diets aren't exactly bursting at the seams with lectins to begin with. And those lectin-packed beans? They're like the unsung heroes for health, battling against the likes of diabetes, heart disease, and even helping with weight management. Just remember, cook those beans well, no one likes a crunchy bean, and whole grains? These guys are the quiet achievers helping fend off chronic diseases and keeping your heart ticking over nicely. The general vibe from nutrition studies is that plant-based diets with a sprinkle of animal products are where it's at for health. The dietary guidelines for Americans aren't shy about it, they're cheering for a varied plant parade including fruits, veggies, and whole grains. Turns out, folks who stick to this plant party tend to have better health outcomes, but here's where things get a bit sticky. The plant paradox leans on some pretty niche studies, like really small and animal focused. It's a bit of a leap to say what works for a mouse is going to work for Uncle Joe. And then there's the supplement saga. Dr. Gundry isn't just giving advice, he's selling the solution too. It's like saying, here's a problem you didn't know you had and oh I just happened to sell the cure. Cue the financial conflict of interest alarm bells. So what's the bottom line? This diet is a bit like that complicated piece of IKEA furniture. Interesting in theory, but a nightmare to put together and live with long term. It sidelines a bunch of nutritious foods that most folks get along with, just fine, and proposes a solution that's not just complicated, but could also have you abandoning ship faster than you can say lectin. In the end, while it may have played a starring role in Kelly Clarkson's weight loss story, remember, what works for one person's playlist might not make the cut on yours. Eating well shouldn't feel like a puzzle you can't solve. Stick to the basics, a varied plant-rich diet with whole foods, and save yourself the drama and the expense of a diet that's more fad than fab. And there you have it folks, the grand tour of the plant paradox diet with all its twists and turns. But let's not forget the golden rule of dieting, what's one person's superfood is another person's kryptonite. Before you jump on any diet bandwagon, it's wise to chat with a pro, a real life diet detective, to make sure it's the right fit for you. If you've enjoyed this little culinary adventure, why not show some love? Smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and join us for more epic food tales. We're all about enjoying the eats, keeping spirits high, staying on the health train, and of course, flexing and glowing with every bite.